Today I wanted to go over how to change the pesky blue highlighting. When you have a KPI like this, as you see, you know, we have these KPI numbers that we would normally have at the top of the dashboard. And if your user clicks on one, you have this pesky blue highlight for the background. So I'm gonna go over a couple of different ways to remove this. So first I'm gonna right click a little tiny tech tip and hide the field labels for the category. Then I'm going to change this from a text KPI to change this to a shape. And um, this method is to use a blank shape, which I've covered before in my blog. So you can use um, a tool like Snagit or something like that and create a blank shape. So I'm gonna click on more shapes and then I, you can see on the edit shape pop-up menu here, I'm going to select um, from the dropdown and I have a custom folder and I have another tech tip on my blog on how to you know, create a custom folder to use custom shapes. And then I'm going to where it says select a data item here, I'm gonna select my blank shape. So it doesn't really look like there's anything there, but that's actually a blank shape. And then I'm going to click apply. So this is just the first step. So you can see the text still highlights here. Um, if you go to click on any of the text and uh, another thick, quick tiny tip is how to get rid of this keep only and exclude here. Um, sometimes, you know, if your user clicks one of these, you know, it'll uh, filter out the view. And if they're not familiar with Tableau, they might be like, what did I do? How do I get it back? So I like to turn off that function. Um, but it also turns off the um, ex uh, explain data feature. So um, you turn off that feature by going to the tooltip. So you should click on that tooltip. And it's these two buttons right here. So include command buttons and allow selection by category. So if you uncheck those two boxes, that'll get rid of that little um, include and exclude, um, include and exclude um, items over there. So what is the next step on getting rid of that blue highlight? Well, I like to create a calculated field and you can see I'm going over to the data pane and I'm selecting create a calculated field and I'm gonna call this uh, dummy. And I'm not really gonna put anything in this calculated field. I'm just gonna put two double quotes and that's it. And I'm going to select okay. And I'm going to drag this string field that I just created onto the detail marks card of this sheet. So it's not gonna do anything right now, but once I move this sheet to a dashboard, then I can apply a dashboard action to get rid of that highlighting. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on a new dashboard icon down here at the bottom, and I'm going to um, drag my sheet to the dashboard, and um, I'm gonna go up to dashboard in the menu and select dashboard actions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add an action and I'm going to say highlight, even though I'm turning off the highlight, I'm gonna select highlight. So this will be a highlight action, but I'm turning off the highlight. So I'm gonna call this no highlight. And then I would put the sheet name. Um, I'm gonna make sure that the dashboard is selected here and to make sure the sheet that I'm working on is there. Same thing for target, I'm gonna select dashboard and then the sheet. But then down here under target highlighting, I'm gonna do selected fields and select that dummy field. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna run that action on select here. And then I'm gonna select okay, and then okay again. So this will now remove that blue uh, text highlighting option. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something new in Tableau.